Hey guys, I'm so excited today because um, my Sephora order came yesterday, and then like two days ago, my Lush order came in from the UK, so I'm like, yay! I get to film a haul, so I'm like super excited. Um, I already filmed a tutorial on this look. Alright, I'm making some progress here because I'm actually doing tutorials again. So I know a lot of my videos have been hauls and collections and things like that lately. It's because of time restraints and all that. Blech. So um, let's just jump into it because I've got, like I said, I've got um, my Sephora haul and Lush. So I might do those two separately. Depends on how fast I get going here. And then I did want to show you guys my um, Sigma makeup brushes, but I guess I'll just hold off on those and just do my tutorials with them. Maybe about five tutorials, and then I'll do a review on them like I did the last set. So I guess I'll hold on to those. So let me just jump into my um, Sephora order. I picked up this really cool NARS um, set, and it looks like this. Even a cool box. I love their packaging. Here it is here. Really cool. Um, it comes with three products. It comes with this blush here, which is their very famous deep throat blush. This is Orgasm um, Cheek Stick, and this is a matte, a matte um, lip pencil in the color uh, Betina. Betina? I don't know. I think that's what it's called. Kind of looks like one of those MAC um, shade sticks, isn't it? Um, so I wasn't really getting the set for the lip product, just these two cheek um, items here. Because I did want to try Deep Throat. I heard so many good things about it, and I just was dying to try it. And it is like, you know, so expensive on its own. So this was a deal and a half. So let me get off that little plastic thing. And that is the shade of a Deep Throat. Really nice, soft, rosy pink. So I can't wait to do the tutorial featuring this. Here's Orgasm the Blush Stick. It's also a really nice, soft pink with a little bit of corally undertone, so I like that a lot. And um, this little shade here is pretty true to the color of the actual product. Let me swatch that for you really quick. And it is a matte lip pencil. So maybe if I get daring, I'll probably um, show that to you guys in a look later on down the road. I'm still trying to make my transition into colorful lips because I'm so stuck on nude colored lips. Now, for the shade that I have on my lips right now, it's Vintage by Lorac, and it is in this um, Hollywood Insider collection. It comes with a couple of products, and um, that's what I use to do this look, so I'll be posting that tutorial sometime soon. It comes with a double-ended mascara. It's really cool um, blush. It's like a coppery bronze um, blush and the color is Hollywood. comes with this cool highlighter in Spotlight. Also this eyeshadow trio. And my favorite part of this package, or this collection, would probably have to be this lip gloss in Vintage. I also picked up this Benefit to Go Beauty Best Sellers, and it comes with a couple of items which are super tiny, perfect for your makeup bag, and perfect for sampling. Um, I think this is some kind of a... I don't even know... It says foundation faker, so I'm guessing it's uh, like you just pat this on to any of your blemishes. This is a primer, this is a highlighter, and um, a cheek stain, so pretty cool for only $10. So I have, have yet to try any of these products that are in here except for the high beam. 
think I bought that one already. So I'm interested to see these and hopefully I like them so I can just buy um, the regular size. I also picked up this tanning bed in a tube by Too Faced Cosmetics. It's a pretty good size bottle of tanning solution. I think this might be about $20 and um, it's just a lotion that you um, rub onto your skin, let it sit, dry, and then you're out the door. So hopefully this works out and if it does I will be doing a review on this soon, very soon so I can, you know, get that information to you guys um, before summer hits here. So that's a really cool product that I'm excited to use. Um, if you use, um, I think there's like a certain code, I'm trying to think of what it is. Well, I can't think of it at the top of my head, but I will be putting it down below. Um, you get this little Daisy um, by Marc Jacobs sample perfume, or per size perfume. It's so cute and tiny, and it smells great. I've been dying to get a bottle of this, but I've been trying so many other perfumes, but it smells so clean and just classic, and I love it. It smells right now. Really, really nice. It smells like flowers and daisies. Well, duh, daisies, but isn't that cute? Me and my girlfriend Carly were dying over this when I opened my package, and this is like, ah, oh, it's so cute. But, so yeah, I'll definitely put that promo code into the sidebar when I find it, because you will get one of these for free with every purchase. So I think that's it for my Sephora um, order. Now to my Lush order. I already used one product, which was a robot. Now, hold on, let me show you the packaging. This is the small little baby box that I got. It's kind of irritated when I opened it because I was like, Ugh, what the heck? How come it's packed so small and tight? Because I know I bought you know, a handful of things. I was expecting a bigger box and a um, neater wrapping, especially because a lot of these things can break very easily, especially these little robots. I bought six of these little bots, and they run about $4 a piece. Can you believe that? I'm insane for spending this much money. But um, one of my um, followers on Twitter had told me to shop on the UK website because it is a lot cheaper. And um, when I did my grand total, I um, picked the same thing, so filled up both um, website shopping carts on the U.S. website and the U.K. website, and it was $20 difference. So I made my order with um, the U.K. website. I'll be putting that also down the um, sidebar, the below bar. But the bad thing was about these is that they packed it so slop sloppy in this box that they broke. I mean, if I wanted to put these on display in my son's restroom, how could I do that when his head's like chopped off? So I was kind of a little upset about that, but I just used like half for his one bath and half for another bath, so I guess it kind of stretches the product for me, but I would have liked to break it myself. So, you know, when you order things, you want them to come as you see them on the website, not broken in pieces. So that was the only bummer part about it. Two of these robots, two out of six, were broken. So, And someone brought it to my attention that, you know, the great thing about Lush is that they are 100% natural. And the reason why they do pack things that the way that, I mean, the way that they do is um, to help save the environment. Look at that. So silly, broken in half. But they smell great, and they no longer um, carry those little baby faces. The baby faces I showed you guys um, on my blog and also in the previous video, my review for Lush products, they don't carry them anymore. So these were the replacements. They're bigger and they are more expensive, but you do get, you do get more for your money this way with these little robots. So I bought those for Jude. Um, another product that I got was this um, bubblegum bubble gum flavored sugar lip scrub. 
which I wanted to try out because my lips do tend to dry and crack a lot. Maybe because I don't moisturize my lips enough with like chapstick or Carmex or you know lip products like that. So I use a lot of MAC um, lipsticks that tend to be really, really, really drying. Especially my favorite lip products from MAC. MAC, they just like suck the moisture out of my lips and they're like crusty looking and all gross. So the cool thing about this lip scrub is that you can like eat it. I mean, I wouldn't take a spoon and eat it, but like if you rub it on your lips, you can lick it off. You're not going to die because it's made out of natural products. It's like, you know, um, sugar, oils, and then just the dye for the color. And it looks like this. I tried it already. As soon as it came out of the box, I rubbed it all over my lips, and I did notice a significant change in my lips immediately. So I probably wouldn't recommend buying online if you could drive to the store, because I have one that's in Pasadena, which is about 15 minutes from where I live, so probably should just drive down there, handpick them myself, and I'll know that they'll be safe, and I could display them in the restroom and they'll look cute. And um, also pick up these products, and I know they'll be nice and clean and neat because they're, you know, showcased in the store. But like these, I just felt like they just scooped all the product and just went like this, and they're like, okay, throw it in that box because it was all crusty and grainy in the box, which I really did not. I don't know. I just kind of like mm, paid so much for it. I was kind of bummed out that they didn't take too much pride and care in their products when they're shipping because I mean when I get products in the mail I feel like it's present and I'm so excited and then when I see it when it's just thrown around I'm like hmm so moving on I had to buy another piece of this Rockstar soap and um, I'm not sure how much this came out to be but I know the chunk that I bought before at the store in Santa Monica was a bigger chunk and I paid $11 for it and it's still in my restroom. I use it every single day. I just love it. And it smells like candies. That's the only thing I can say. I think it smells even better. This one smells better than the one I have in my um, shower right now. But I definitely recommend this. I rebought this. So this is a must have, must try. Um, I also wanted to try this shampoo bar. I heard so much. So, blah, blah, blah. I heard so much about this shampoo bar. Now, it doesn't look like shampoo, but I guess when you throw it in the water and you lather it up in your hands, it's supposed to get really sudsy and foamy, and that's what you use on your head. You can use it either in your hands to create the foam and then throw it in your hair, or you can just lather it up straight on your head, which I probably wouldn't do that because I kind of feel weird about scrubbing my hair with this. Especially since I want to dye my hair soon, so I really love the smell of this shampoo. It smells really, really, really clean. I love it. Um, the name of this, I think it's like Karma or... Let's see. It's called Karma... Comba or Comba? It's Karma Comba for this one. Now this one is... Um, the shampoo hard and it comes it's in this little shampoo tin get, I can get it out there we go it's in hard it kind of smells I don't know I probably wouldn't recommend this if it was up to the smell, so I definitely have to try it in the shower and see how it leaves my hair. But to me, it smells like like hotel bars of soap, like you know those little cheap bars of soap that they have wrapped in paper in your hotel room. That's what it smells like. It smells like cheap hotel hand soap. Just not a good description, but I'm just being honest. Sorry, guys. But I do love this one. I do recommend this one off the, right off the bat just from the smell because the smell is so nice and clean. Um, and like I said, I did buy a bunch of these bots, so I have like six of those floating around. I also picked up this Happy Blooming. 
wrapped like this. Let me just open this guy up. Oh my goodness, it smells like cherries. It smells great. Look at that. And I like how they cut it or pre-cut it for you. I think it is like, it has like an oily base to it. It's not really like the other products where they're almost like a chalky base. So I think this might be a melt. I have to really look. I don't know. I looked at everything on that website, and I just hit click, 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 put it in my shopping cart, and let's check it out later. So I would definitely have to get back to you guys on this. It feels great, and I know it's going to make my bath water just so silky and smooth and luxurious. So I'm excited. I just want to stop doing this video and jump in the bathtub right now. Definitely pick up the Rockstar Bars of Soap. The Robots and the Karma um, Shampoo Bar. So that's it for now, guys. And that's the end of my um, little haul, or I guess big haul, because that was such drawn out and too much talking. But anyways, um, thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, and I'll see you guys soon.